breaking news, the Philadelphia Phillies, straight off their World Series run, has just signed Trey Turner, All-Star, for 11 years, $300 million. This is crazy, and I'm going to get into it. So yeah, Trey Turner has been amazing ever since he went into the league in Washington and continued to put up elite stats. Last year with the Dodgers, in 160 games, very healthy, he put up a 298 batting average, a 343 on base percentage, and a 466 slugging with an 809 OPS with 21 homers and 27 stolen base, almost to the 30 30 club. And he's still very, very. He's been a. But also, what makes Turner special is not just his ability to bat. Sure, his his bat is great and his stats are good, but when you look at his hitting sets alone, he's not really a $300 million guy. But what makes him so special is his elite hitting with the fact his tools m might even be better. He, he can put up almost 30 stolen bases a year. He's one of the best base runners in baseball. And also, he's one of the best shortstops in the game. If he didn't, if he could hit, if he was just, if he could just get by, even with a 260 batting average, he would still be worth a lot of money because just how good his fielding is. He plays the hardest position in the game very well, generating lots of war and a lot of double plays, along with his base running. If he did, if he could bat it terrible, he'd still be worth about 20 million with all of his stuff. But no, the fact that he can also hit, hit maybe about 25, 30 homers and have a solid on-base percentage and batting average, maybe a 280 guy, and can, and can still give you elite fielding and base running is what makes him so special. He, he got traded to the, to the Dodgers after the Nationals, and in 2022 was his last year with the Dodgers. He is signed with the Phillies. The Phillies are a very... Mo are a very hot and cold team. They have a lot of talent, and this only adds to it. And when that talent plays up to their potential, they're a World Series team. But they also got a low floor. When they have a lot of injuries, or when they're off their game, or have a bad manager, they kind of go to their floor. Last season, they, at the end of the year, they finally clicked their potential, especially in the postseason. And people were excited for what they could do. But also some people thought they would slide because they thought they wouldn't continue that hot streak. Well, now they added Trey Turner. And if their stars continue to play hot, they were already a World Series team. But with the addition of Trey Turner is key. He's a guy that is very consistent on a hot and cold team. So even if the Phillies slump, he'll still be doing a lot of production. And yeah, and if, and if the Phillies play good again or even solid they're gonna be a dangerous team because they also have Trey Turner to add to that and it fills a position of need at shortstop no offense to Gene Seguri but he's not the best he's a he's kind of one of the Phillies postseason batters were amazing and he's kind of one of those bad spots on there he was a terrible fielder as well in the Phillies my, the Phillies way of style of play is go all in on offense and terrible on defense so this fits them. They need a star that's consistent on a very streaky team. They need a shortstop and they need a guy that's fielding. They also need fast guys. None of their guys on their team is really fast. Brandon Marsh, Bryce Harper, Nick Castellanos, JT Romuto, Gene Segura, Alec Baum. None of those guys seem fast at all. And they need some speed on the base pass if they want to keep up. But also, this is genius because, like I said, the Phillies are a very hot and cold team. And a lot of that is when their stars don't play up to their potential. But also, the main reason why they're hot and cold team is because of their injuries. They could not escape the injuries year in and year out, especially in their pitching and bullpen. But also, on the field, Bryce Harper was one of the best hitters that helped them get to the World Series. And he just went down with an injury in it, with Tony John. And it's supposed to be out until July. Now, a lot of Phillies fans, they'd have to rely on their on their postseason stars that were unlikely last year. And if they and if that was just a streak last year for some of their guys and they reverted back to their bad form, the Phillies would be in trouble. But now Trey Turner fills the void of Bryce Harper and might even be better, better than Bryce Harper. Okay, I'm not saying that, but still. Because last year, whenever they didn't have Bryce Harper, they slumped. And this year, even without Bryce Harper, they have a superstar. And when Bryce Harper returns healthy, the Phillies are going to have a dangerous four huge superstars. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you like sports content like this. It would really mean a lot to me. 
and yeah, bye.